What, what had Rod Moore been doing in, behind the scenes that allowed him to uh, be inserted and play as much as he did against Penn State? Uh, he's, he's a really good player. He's, uh, he's developed well. Uh, student of the game. Uh, on field, he, I think his best attribute is you know, he's in the right places. And uh, he's, got a, he's got a talent and space to get people on the ground. Uh, uh, really good tackler. The, um, you could just tell how much he was studying, you know, from the beginning of, of training camp. I mean, the hours he was putting in on his iPad, at, uh, I guess it's iPad, uh, watching tape was the most of anybody on the team. How do you feel like he did in the game? Good. Yeah. Uh, he's in the right spots, um, and, and you saw him make, make some of his open field tackles, get guys on the ground. Well, that was a big win overall. So what's the confidence like going into this week? Is it week by week building stronger, stronger? Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, it was just uh, overall. It was just a great football experience had by all last Saturday. The game being in an iconic venue, uh, two tremendous academic institutions competing against each other, uh, they were knocking each other down, each was getting back up, making plays. For three and a half hours, uh, that went on. And at the end of the contest, there was a winner and a non-winner, um, but the biggest winner was the game of football. Brian? Jim, what's the timeline for Blake Quorum's return? Um, or is there a timeline for his return, possible return this year? Uh, I mean, it, it's when he returns. <clears throat> is, I, timeline? I, I don't have a timeline for you. That's what you're asking. No, there's not a timeline. John? Mr. Jim, Lasan depleted a, uh, a pass rusher. Uh, on Saturday. Can you talk a little bit about that part of his game this year, how it's gone? Uh, I think you can talk about every part of Hassan Haskins game mm -hmm. and, um, and refer to it as excellent, um, outstanding, every single phase. Um, and they talk about records. I mean, I, I haven't done this, but I mean, how many times he has picked up a first down? And how many times he picked up a first down in that game? Um, how many times he's picked up a first down all season? I don't know if they keep that stat, but uh, yards after contact, I know they keep that one. He's really good. Uh, pass protection, outstanding. Catching the ball out of the backfield, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a, a real strength of his. And running with the ball after catch, um, you know, one that uh, you know is we're going to keep using and and uh, you know, more and more because it's it's really effective. I mean, just getting the ball in his hands, or to your point, when the ball is in his hands, he's a he's a blocker and he's uh, you know, extremely good at that. But, uh, you know, after my feeling after the game was that. Hassan is the type of player that wants to uh, and has the will and the ability to put a team on his back. And after watching the tape of the game, that was just as just as conclusive, just as evident. On the left, Michael. Jim, what is it about DJ Turner's mental makeup and character that fits well at the cornerback position where you got to go one on one with guys all the time? Uh, DJ's having an outstanding uh, season. Um, you know, his, his coverage has been very good. Um, he's made physical plays. Um, he is, he's an ascending player all the way. Uh, ball skills have been, uh, been outstanding. He's, he's had a great interception on the year. He's had PBUs. He's returned punts. Uh, you know, that that uh, checks out. He's a, he's a fiery competitor. Um, so, I mean, just... 
really, really all good things for DJ Turner. 